Mmm, vanilla Coke. So Eric, guess what? It's Tuesday. So I know the first thing we're gonna get out of the way. There was no video uploaded yesterday for the Let's Play stuff. That's because I thought I fixed all the problems and that I was wrong. Oops. So as I said today, Sarah, I'm going to talk to you about Robin in the Hood. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why, what it is, what happens, why it's awesome. This will hopefully serve to give you a bit of background as to why you should go to this amazing festival. So let's start off with some of the basics. What, per se, is Robin in the Hood? It sounds like a gangster thing. The in the hood part of the name has a lot more to do with the fact that the festival takes part in the middle of a city. Haha. <laughs> so, what exactly is Robin in the Hood, name notwithstanding? Robin in the Hood is an educational medieval fair that was started by one DJ Carroll. This was started about 15 years ago. What was 15 years ago? 2000. In around the 2000 year, Robin in the Hood was started, and it was a small endeavor, not having much more than about 20 to 30 cast members, and not having much more than 50 to 60 attendants over the course of the day. 15 years later, the cast numbers over 100, easily. Would you say that the cast has more than 100 participants? I caught Sarah off guard. She was trying to sneak down the stairs and... I had no idea you were actually doing anything. Um, deer in the headlights. What did, what did DJ say? Cast members? Yeah, we got about 120 this year, don't we? More than 100. 130, I give. So somewhere between 100 and 149. Basically, that's the size of the cast. Now we have over 1,000 attendants in the one Saturday event. This event has actually moved to the having two days sort of deal. You have the Friday night family night, as we call it, where it's a chance for people to come out to the festival, no charge, and come and see some of what the set looks like. There's a couple of shows going on, and I believe this year there's a fire show happening. To clarify, a fire show is where performers use devil sticks and fire batons, and one of them is actually this really cool fire fan thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's actually kind of cool. That's what they do when they hold it, by the way. I'm an expert in this field. And then, of course, you have the actual festival day. The festival day takes from about 10 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. There's a fight tournament every hour on the half hour, so 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, you see where we're going with this sort of thing, up until the end of the day, around 4.30 mark, where it's the final tournament. These tournaments are a chance for not only the fight team to show off their fighting prowess, and let's be honest, there's some really cool stuff. I'll include a little link in the thingy below. One of their more iconic fights, which is the dance fight of, I want to say, 2010. But there's also an ongoing going story for the day and the ongoing story changes from year to year this is year 15 so it sees the return of an older group that hasn't been in town for a while I'm not gonna spoil who it is it's a surprise but if you were at the festival five years ago you know exactly who it is so haha so aside from the obvious things a medieval festival with Robin Hood namesake and a couple of the characters what exactly is Robin in the Hood why is this something you should be interested in well, first and foremost, this is an entirely volunteer-run organization. None of them get paid. That includes myself. On top of that, we have all sorts of really cool things that go on over the course of the weekend. And by weekend, I mean day. We've got vendors set up where they're selling all sorts of really cool things. Not only that, but you have these workshops. You got a workshop for the siege engines. You got a workshop for the legal system, how it's handled, punishment, and all that good stuff. Birds of prey come in and the volunteers who help handle them and show them off. And this festival is just mind-blowingly fun. And I will be honest, I'm gonna call it out. Get ready, shots fired. This festival is better than medieval times. Guaranteed. I'm not saying Medieval Times is a bad experience. I have a lot of fun when I've been to Medieval Times in the past few times. That being said, this is a better performance overall. This is a better experience, and you know what? It's also a lot cheaper. Festival's a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun to put on every year. This is my sixth year coming up now that I've been part of the festival. So that's basically the idea of what Robin Hood is and why you should go out to it. It's a lot of fun. It's a great time. It's good for the family. You have a chance to meet some really awesome people who are putting on a show just for you. You can interact with them one-on-one -on -one in groups. There are fights. There are vendors. There's a pretzel guy. The pretzel guy makes the best freaking pretzels in the world. Like, they're the size of my head. And my head's big. They're about the size of my head. I think my head's a little bit bigger. It's all the all the ego and you're sitting there saying this video kind of feels like an advertisement video that's because it kind of was i gotta do my part to help out the festival because why not hopefully you guys have fun with this video i will catch you next week on tuesday with my next upload you will see sarah on friday with her upload sarah i'll see you on friday yeah, and thursday thursday's education day oh god thursday's gonna be a long day sarah i'll see you on friday okay one thing i quickly want to mention i forgot to mention in the video our survey is coming to a close in a week, so if you want to have your input on our channel, we got two questions, exactly this many questions that need to be answered. We want to hear your guys' thoughts, because you guys are the ones who are watching this, you guys are the ones who are putting in your time, and hopefully you guys are the ones having a lot of fun with this. So, get your input on that, and we will see you guys later.